hear me when elijah prophesied look at this look at this look at this in second kings second first king 17 when elijah prophesied look at elijah's prophecy and please i understand he said there shall not be rain nor dew three and a half years <laughs> but according to my word in verse one verse three god told him go and hide <laughs> no that's the truth because even me i will react a man just came and suspended the economy left all of us in hunger we we'll go find you imagine somebody come now and say nigeria for the next three and a half years no rainfall no agriculture they, they will look for him do you know if coronavirus was a person god said to elijah he said go and hide so i don't i don't blame people when they do what they do you can't really blame them because many people who say they are pastors have played games so in their mind they don't know who is genuine again so when they see the original they say no 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 not them god still uses men god almighty still uses men i'm talking to you i don't want you to be a christian that demons come and press are you not ashamed Mandalaroko sobrash. I like it. See, there's a realm in the spirit I want to reach. There's a realm. He said to them, He said, Put, fill those water pots with water. And they turn to wine. That has no chemical explanation. For things to change taste and change color, something must be applied. Nothing was applied. That's supernatural that's super supernatural people are getting people are getting de deposit now super supernatural i see my biological children and i'm happy i see the way they are hungry for power my biological children because that, that's that's the kind of thing they see around their father hungry for power just sit down in church we talk 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 we do church we talk 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 offering time blessing time raise your tithes raise your offering shall we share the grace the grace of our lord no miracle no power no nothing no result and you are complaining why people are leaving the church and going to the shrine no power No power again. No power in church. Somebody will come to church with headache. Presence of God with headache. And the pastor start preaching. His message now increase the headache. No power. These are the generation. I want you as a believer hearing the sound of my voice. Become angry. Become rebellious at normal Christianity. Regular Christianity. It's time to believe that strange things can happen. Uh -huh. Strange acts of God. Strange dimensions of God. I don't want you to open up your heart for normal kind of occurrences. Angels can appear. Angels can appear. Kenneth Hagin was giving, I will read one of Kenneth Hagin's book. He said one time he was believing God for a level of finances. He prayed and prayed, nothing was happening. He heard a sound in his room. He went there, he saw money. So this thing is age long. But we have, we have so, technology and civilization are so blown our mind. How can you be carrying sickness, carrying disease, carrying tumor, carrying infirmity in your body, and you are a Christian? I'm not against the doctor. There's a place for medicine. I believe there is a place for medicine. I believe. But sir, there are certain attacks that have no medical explanation. No doctor can tell you how cancer comes. But they can only tell you things that are prone to cancer. No doctor can tell you how fibroid comes. There are things, the only cure for cancer is the Holy Ghost. Because doctors have no cure. No matter all the chemotherapy and everything you take and do, it is still Holy Ghost. It is still God. That empowers that process 
because many have done several chemotherapies and still died here's the power of God Elisha said master I'm not I'm not I'm not ready for this why is the Lord God of Elijah Am robbers will stop a believer, put gun on him, blast him, he'll die. Bullets will enter and kill him. The same way, and there are people who have charms on their body, you shoot them, he bounce. And you have Holy Ghost. You see, power, the supernatural cannot manifest in your life when you are not hungry for it. It begins with hunger. I tell my biological children, I said, follow Katrikuma, follow Katrikuma. I said, follow her, follow her pattern. Be hungry like her. Forget about the human frailties and weaknesses. That's humanity. Are you following me? Forget it. It doesn't deny the anointing. David made a terrible mistake. He was still the man after God's heart. So forget the fact that one pastor is somewhere and he did this or he said this. He said that. He doesn't remove the anointing of God upon his life. Is the anointing real? Yes. I know gimmicks have been played. But the reason gimmicks have been played is because the people were trying to copy something. They were trying to copy original. They are too lazy to pay the price. Why will I bother other people with sleep and sleep and sleep under AC? No prayer. I can't remember. I can't. My sleep is between 11, 12, 1. 1 30, I'm up. 4 30, I'm on my way to one downtown number. That's the regular life I'm living. Regularly, 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 regularly. And you think God will not see all those sacrifices? That you sleep from 97 a.m. And it's not possible. Of course, it's not possible to you. to you not to me where would they have been when they see acts chapter 8 verse 39 what would they have said when the bible said the Ethiopia eunuch eunuch saw philip no more acts 8 39 bring it up on the screen and when they were come out of the water the spirit of the lord caught away philip somebody say he caught away that the eunuch saw him and he went on his way rejoicing. Verse 40. See where Philip landed. Verse 40. And Philip, but Philip was found. Can you, bring, can you go back to verse 39? Bring out that translation. Lord, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. When they came out of the water, the Spirit of God suddenly took Philip off. And that was the last the eunuch saw of him. But he didn't mind. He had what he came for. And went down the road as happy as he could be. Makoso Brahadisha. Bring out that translation of verse 39. You know, there was something called the Azusa Revival. When the fire was burning, 39 I said, not 38. When the fire was burning in Azusa, when the fire was burning, literal fire, 39, whoever is on the console. When the fire was burning in Azusa, look up, look here. Look here. When the fire was burning in Azusa, during the Azusa Revival, I think 1906, also, when the fire was burning, for people who, I mean firemen fire service rather came to the premises trying to quench fire literal fire this generation has been abused no more manifestation because of civilization literal fire literal fire anything we don't like we attack Anything we don't understand, we attack. 
Dr. Dick Olukoya came with a warfare, a mentality of warfare that witches must die. I remember that year, 94, 95. Everywhere, attack, attack, attack. The man could not rest. Everybody attacking him. From the outside, they were calling him demon. How can Chris a pastor be killing witches? Be killing people. But to the all of them, they are shouting, die by fire. And the man is laughing. Attack, attack. When they came up out of the water, Philip was suddenly snatched. That's the Azusa revival. Bring back up. Bring it back up. Pentecost has come. The Apostolic Faith Chapel. W. Semo was a man that was partially blind in one of his eyes. The Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost fell on him. It was so strong then that people came from different parts of the world. When you come, the person will receive you. As he's speaking in tongues, what he's doing is talking to you in your language. Have you seen revival? A man comes from China to that place and then somebody is speaking tongues to him and he's speaking back to the person. The person is speaking to him. He's speaking back to the person. They are communicating. Only for him to later discover the man is not a Chinese. How did how do you understand my language? Did I speak your language? I was praying in the spirit. Those were realms. Today people will talk on people will talk on power, power, talk on dimension. Yet yeah, they don't manifest it. What are we doing in church when there is no power? What are we doing in church when there's no supernatural? Casa Pratash. DL Moody was sitting inside the bus. Was sitting in the bus. DL Moody. As he was sitting in the bus. On the corner of the bus because he didn't want people to know he was around. He was taking the public bus. As he sat down, people were being knocked under the power. People were crying. Arrested by the Holy Ghost. Weeping, crying everywhere. And the young man asked a lady, why is the bus upside down? People are falling on each other. People are crying. People are screaming. People are holding the pole. The lady said, I don't understand. But this kind of thing only happens when D.L. Moody comes to town. He said, I'm sure D.L. Moody is around. And he was seated in a corner. Seated in the corner. Seated in the corner. In a corner. That's the man. Bring it up. Bring him up again. That's D.L. Moody. Shook his world. With grace and glory. A man called William Braham. The power of God was so strong on his life that one time when they took a picture of him, they saw a light. Camera picked a light from heaven hanging on the side. William Maron Braham. That's the first man I saw in the prophetic and I was crying. A light hung. The vice president of, Amer of America now, this lady, William Brown prophesied it in 1960. Prophesied the color of clothes. Said she will be inaugurated wearing a purple cloth. She will be the first president of America. First female, first female president of America. The first female president. And it will be from the Catholic Church. Look at the light. That's light on his head. That's the light hanging on his head. Camera could not describe it. It was the angel. Yahweh, 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 let your fire fall. Hallelujah. Let your fire fall. We sing Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh. Yahweh, let your fire fall. Let your fire fall. Hear me. Hear me. A man's hand was withered. And Paul said, Stretch your hand. The man stretched it. In those days, Acts chapter 19, verse 12. You see, everything I'm telling you, I'm showing you from the Bible. Acts chapter 19, verse 12. The Bible says an apron and handkerchief you are taking from the body of Paul. Was Paul's body a hospital? Was it a clinic? Handkerchiefs you are taking. And evil spirits left. The church is playing. That people have played gimmicks doesn't mean everybody, everybody loves Satan. There are those that love Jesus genuinely. The manifestations you might be seeing might be manifestations you saw someone else play games to get. 
But God is showing those manifestations genuinely for you to know it is possible.